Okay, it's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Join my wine with. Ching, don't Ching. break glasses. <laughs> wine Word Italy, um, check wine. him out on YouTube. You've got lots of Italian wine reviews there. Uh, this is a beer that was kindly brought to me to Cardiff um, by a gentleman in Finland by the name of Orkel. Uh, it's Stadin Imperial Porter and it's 9.5% ABV, it's 30 IBUs and it's 20.5. I think that's either got something to do with the malt or it's got something to do with the colour of the beer, how dark that beer is. Um, let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. It's by Stadin Panimon. Stadin Panimon. There we go. Okay. Finish. Finished. That's, that's my, it. That's my finished. That's <laughs> my finished. <laughs> right, so this is going to be a jet, jet black beer. Let's have a look at this bottle then. Yeah, Ooh! Like treacle. Steady there. More than half gone there. There we go. There we go. So it's a lot like. It's dense. Black, black, black. And I, I think that I've always mentioned on the show that the reason why these these dark beers, these these kind of high alcohol beers, are popular in the Scandinavian countries, Finland's in Scandinavia. It is. Is because I think it's dark a lot of times of the year. It's cold a lot of times of the year, and you and you want something warming, yeah. don't you? You want a a warming alcoholic yeah, drink. Just before you jump in the lake, and <laughs> strip off and jump in an ice covered lake. <laughs> I mean, come on. Maybe after. Yeah, maybe <laughs> bring yourself back to life. Maybe after this imperial porter. Um, so it's one a one finger tan coloured head. It's a jet black beer. Let's get the aroma. Oh goodness me! Chocolate that's and licorice. Chocolate and licorice and treac treacle. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, treacle. Oh. You get a little kick of alcohol on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's. I'm not sure if it's barrel aged where they actually they've actually made a stout and then they put it into uh, whiskey barrels mm. and, you, and that whiskey seeps back into the beer. I'm not sure if it is. It certainly smells that way. Got a little it's touch warm. of whiskey. Maybe the smell is warm. It just wraps you around yeah. your nose. It's yeah. warm. As, he, as Simon just said, you know, brilliant for a cold Finnish night. Yeah, let's dive in. Or a cold South Wales evening. 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 Let's try it out. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. That's chewy. Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's, that's like a bar of beer. Yeah, isn't it? that's. that's it's thick, it's viscous, oh, it's chewy, like as, as Robin said, it's chewy, it's alcohol, it, it, you've got a little, that, the alcohol's hidden well, it, it's not yeah. like, it's not like it's like that Carlsberg elephant lager, where it's like, <clears throat> you know, it's like paint stripper, it, it, it's, there's it, so much flavour there, that that's, mm. it's not hidden, it's just not there, mm. so I do you pick up, do you pick up, well, um, definitely, there's like um, treacle, so yeah. mixture of licorice and sugar and stuff. Yeah. You know, black, old-fashioned black treacle. Yeah, yeah. Like your great grandmother, my, my grandmother, but your, yeah. probably your great grandmother made. Um, and there's uh, there's a sort of woodiness there too. Yes. Yeah. Full rich wood. So Absolutely. Maybe it has been barrel, barrel aged, aged or something. Barrel aged, yeah, yeah. It's the popular thing to do right now with beer, but. Um, there's a little bit of chocolate, there's a little bit of coffee in there, a little bit of espresso coffee from the malt that's coming through. Yeah, a little, yeah. Is it definitely... Yeah. yeah. Yes, there's like bitterness on the back end, that could be mm. coffee-like. But the mouthfeel is, I, I call this a medium mouthfeel, it's a mouthfeel that kind of gloops down your yeah. throat rather than... And you can feel the warmth. Yeah, you can feel the warmth going there, down and it's... it's it's, it's lovely. It's a really nice beer. This, it's the first three reviews, and I always leave an imperial stout or porter to last. The first three, three reviews are all about the, the big, the hoppy, uh, the punch, the excitement, and this beer they just always calm me down. Oh, they yeah. always they surprised. Pipe and slippers in front of the fire, middle of winter. He's it's older just, than he looks, isn't he? It just calm. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it just makes me. Uh, like a good glass of red wine would, it just, yeah. it just relaxes yeah. you. Chills you out. Oh, yeah. That's fine, I would yeah. substitute a glass of red wine for this one, mm. no problem. That's lovely. Mm. Um, I'm going to rate it. Uh, would you like to rate this one? Would you like to oh, give it a rating out of 10? Okay, well, um, as everybody knows, I'm not an expert. I review wines and I'm not a huge beer drinker, but tonight I think I'm more than made up yeah. for that in one go. 
Yeah. Um, but on a scale of one to ten, I'd be, I'd be popping that up there in the nine and a bit. Nine, nine and a bit, yeah, nine and a bit. I'm going to join you on that. That's, a, that's, a, that's a splendid drink. Uh, we've done uh, four beers in the space of uh, just over forty-five minutes. Um, uh, check out the other reviews. We did the an IPA from Norway, Lind Lindforden IPA. We did uh, a, a double IPA from Italy. Uh, that was called Too Late IPA by Brewfist. We did a seven shell uh, saison noir, which is also very good. So check out them reviews with 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 Winewood. Um, nine out of ten. Thank you all for watching. Um, comment, please subscribe, and cheers. Oh, thank you to Ocal for coming all the way to Cardiff and, and bringing me this beer. What a, what a, guy. What a guy! What a guy! What a guy! Come back soon. Yeah, thank you. Oh, um, next week, if you want to check us out next week, very quickly, we're going to be doing uh, wine. Uh, Robin brought a bottle of a bottle of ale from Italy, so we'll get we'll get on and review that. So look at look at that review. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.